hello friends this is the app which i created in my previous video and in this video i showed you how to use scheduled executor service as a timer to get the current time continuously so here i use this scheduled executor service now in this video i will show you how to create a bound service how to bind to a service and how to unbind a service in android so in this i will be creating a service class and then i will have a button in activity main.xml when i click on it i will bind to the service and when i i will have another button to unbind the service so first i would like to tell you a few things about the service so the service can be either a bound service or it can be a started service and it can be both also so when you call start service the service is started and after on create it will call the on start command event and then you can stop it by calling stop service you can start it by calling start service and stop it by calling stop service and in a bind service you call bind service in your main activity or any other activity and then in the service class it will have the on bind method and you can unbind by calling unbind service method okay and when it unbinds on unbind is called and then on destroy is called here when it is stopped it directly calls on destroy the on unbind is not called here on bind is not called here so here we'll be talking about only the bind service so bind service allows other activities to bind to the service and it must implement the on bind method so in bind service you should have the on bind method so you can create service that is both started and bound and you create started service by calling start service and a bound service by calling bind service so if you have to if you want to have a service in background then you should use start service and you can use bind service to bind to it so that you can send some message to the service so here is how we implement a bound service first we have to implement service connection by using this code we have to define a service connection which contains on service connected method and on service disconnected method this on service disconnected method is called when the app unexpectedly stops or when the service unexpectedly stops but it is not called when you unbind service so when you purposely unbind service then this on service disconnected will not be called so we second step is to start this to bind the service by using this code you have to use intent then refer to your service class and then bind to this service using the intent and the connection which you defined here and then in the end when all your work is done you can call unbind service so if your activity is bound to a service and when your app destroys the activity then it will automatically unbind the service but better practice is to unbind the client as soon as you exit the app so let's move to android studio and create our app so first i will have a button one and this will be for binding service so here i will write bind service Now I will create a button 2 and this button 2 will be for unbind service. now i have two buttons bind service and unbind service now let's move to main activity 
here first i will define my button 2 so i already have a button 1 here now i will define button 2 as find view by id r dot id dot button 2 okay and after this on button 1 click i have to bind the service this my schedule executor i will not be using here i will be using it in the service class so i will just remove this from here okay so now this is not red and i will remove this also so next i have to define a service connection and this should be outside the on create so here the on create ends and outside this i will define private service connection connection is equal to new service connection so now it has automatically created this in the end there should be semicolon so it has automatically created this on ser new service connection with on service connected method and on service disconnected method so here i will create a boolean variable Here I will create a boolean variable bound. Okay, and when it is connected, I will set bound equal to true. And when it is disconnected, I will set bound equal to false. Now I will go to button 1. When this button 1 is clicked, I will bind the service. So here I will use an intent. New intent then the name of the activity main activity dot this this will be the context then we have to write the name of the service to which we have to move so here i have not created any service yet so first i will create the service i will go to this main activity here right click click new and click java class and here i will name it as my service you can name it anything else so here it will create my service dot java and in this i will write extends service android dot app dot service now inside this extend service it must have on bind method so here i will add this public i binder on bind in this on bind method here it returns null at present so i would like to return a binder here so here i will define private i binder binder is equal to new binder and now it will i will return the binder here okay so the service is created now let's go to main activity here when button one is clicked i will refer to my service my service dot class okay and now i can start the service or bind the service by calling bind service 
intent comma the connection comma the flag i will i will use this flag bind auto create so now it will bind to the service next we will this method will be executed on bind will be executed so in on bind we have to use this scheduler the so we will i will just cut it from here and paste it in my service now the code for this my schedule executor so this will be used in on bind method in on bind method i will just paste this so now i have this schedule executor service which is this and this my schedule executor service is equal to executors executors dot new schedule thread pool one there's only one thread pool then th in this my schedule executor i scheduled it at fixed rate inside this i have a runner i have a runnable and in this i set the text of text view to the new date java.util.date and time unit is seconds so here I set the initial delay to one second and then after that every delay is for one second so every one second it will update the new date in text view so this is done here now we have to stop this we have to display the time in text view for displaying it in this text view we have to make it static and we have to define it outside on create so i will just copy it from here now i will remove this and i will declare it here at the top okay so now i have defined this text view and to use it in my service i will have to make it static so here i will make it static text view text view i have declared it here and defined it here now let's go to my service here i will use main activity dot text view dot set text current time plus new date so this will update the current date in the text view of my uh, text view of main activity now next thing we have to do is we have to shut down or stop this executor we have to stop this my schedule executor and i will do this in on bind service sorry in on unbind service on unbind method of this service public boolean on unbind so in this method i will use this my schedule executor dot shutdown okay and in main activity i have to call unbind service also 
so for that i will have button 2 here i have defined button 2 now i will have a on click listener for button 2 so i will just copy this on click listener and paste it here this will be button 2 all this is in on create button 1 button 2 this service connection is outside on create so when button 2 is clicked i will unbind service unbind service connection and that's all now we have to declare it in manifest file so here inside the application tag i will add a service with name my service and that's all now let's check this so here is our app it displays the current time now and it is not updating the time when i click on bind service you can see that it starts updating the seconds and minutes it's, it starts updating the date and when i click on bind service once again it keeps doing this same thing and when i click on unbind service it stops updating the date and when i click on unbind service once again it crashes because there is one thing i missed in main activity after before doing unbind service we have to check if it is bound or not so here i will check if bound i will use this boolean if it is bound only then i will unbind the service and if it is when i am unbinding the service i will set bound is equal to false so that when i unbind the service i do not unbind it again so that's why in this video thank you very much for watching this